YouTube, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Hey, glad to see y'all again, man. I uh, hope y'all are enjoying y'all day. I uh, got another video for you, man. This is what I do as I bring videos that I encourage you. I bring videos of my journey. I bring videos of some knowledge. I try to bring a little bit of everything for you guys, man. But today, I'm trying to figure out something you should be trying to figure out. So the question is, are you in the driver's seat and your passenger sleep? Or are you in the passenger seat sleep while the driver's awake? Let me go ahead and get in depth in that, man. But for everybody that's brand new, hit the like button. Everybody who enjoys these videos, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and stay tuned for this video, man. I love making videos, and I'm glad that you guys are here, man. Again, happy Wednesday, and check out the video. All right, so this one is fitting to be in the vehicle and uh, doing this video. Wouldn't advise doing so because it's not safe, but that's what we're going to do today. And the video is about, <clears throat> is your partner sleep while you're driving? Or are you in the passenger seat uh, sleeping? You know what I mean? So what I want to get into is how important it is to be a passenger and to be awake or to have your passenger awake while you're driving as an entrepreneur, as an individual, anything. Even with you taking trips, man, you still, this applies to that as well. You take a trip, man, you start getting tired and weak. What happens, man? Your, your passengers over here knocked out. They're usually sitting right here, just sleeping good, having the best sleep of their dang life. And you're over here just nodding off, struggling and whatever else, man. Do you know how much easier that drive would be if your passenger happened to be awake? Like it would be a hundred times better if the passenger was awake and alert with you that way if you were to pass a destination um, they would be there to you know point it out for you but if they're asleep nobody knows you know you're, you're past that destination you have no clue where the heck you're at you're just driving so what should be happening as a driver you should be awake you know whether it's entrepreneurship whether it's just driving a vehicle whatever the case may be it applies to both but as a driver, you should be awake and aware of where you're going to, okay? You should have a destination in mind, and that destination should already be planned out. That's the biggest thing in a business is planning out your destination prior to so that you don't get confused on where you're going to. Um, there's nothing worse than uh, just randomly driving for six, seven days, an hour, a year, however long, driving your business and you have zero destination um, because you didn't plan that far, okay? You need to plan a destination for where you're gonna end up at in the end, and then if you have a passenger, your passenger has to be on board with getting to that same destination, all right? So let me give you a few examples of a driver and a passenger. All right, so I'm a driver now. Right now, I'm heading home. So what I can do, because I have no passenger, is type it in the GPS. GPS can give me the direction of where home is. And it's either up to me to really believe in what GPS says or to go on my own and, and find it there, uh, you know, through my own mind or direction or whatever other direction I want to use. So there's two different things I can do. Use my own mindset and find my, my home or go through the GPS as my passenger, and my GPS is gonna tell me, make these turns, make that turn, and tell me how to get there, maybe quicker, or possibly the safest route, okay? So that's the same thing you need to be doing in a business, man, is you need to bounce ideas off of your partner, or passenger in this case, and when your passenger is awake, they actually give you feedback and bounce ideas back because that's the whole 
concept of having a, a dang partner or passenger. You don't do all this alone. You're not sitting here driving hundreds and thousands of miles year after year after year, you know, solo. This is for you to maybe drive and then maybe your passenger can take over for a little bit. It just depends on how you want to run your business. But in that scenario, uh, the GPS is going to allow me, you know, to know my destination. It's going to allow me to know the time frame it's going to take. It's going to allow me to uh, follow its direction without very much uh, participation, really. All I have to do is do the driving, okay? Your passenger can be that instrumental in your career or your success. So it's really up to you to find the right passenger that can do that. So maybe it's something that uh, you're, you're looking for as a mentor. In your mentor, you can find somebody that's literally doing everything that you want to do, but can't figure it out. And that mentor may want to walk you step by step on how to get to that destination. Literally, driver, passenger. The mentor is the driver. You're going to be the passenger. Okay, until it's time for you to now take over the wheel and then you can become the driver. But even still, you don't want to drive too long because you're going to get bored, tired, burnt out, whatever the case may be. You want to pick up a passenger and uh, now you want to mentor them, possibly. Maybe you want to pick up another driver to drive you to another destination. Uh, you never know. So now let me give you another scenario right now. All right. So the other scenario would be if you're in the passenger seat. OK. So now you're sitting over here. Most people, uh, people like my wife, right, would literally fall asleep. Hey, we're driving to Vegas today. We're driving to Cali today. Man, she's knocked out within the first, you know, 40 minutes to an hour. Knowing dang well that drive is like a four or five hour drive. You can't rely on her to stay awake. Just, that's just that. But that makes the drive that much more difficult when the kids are in the back seat, they're knocked out. I'm sitting here driving. I'm struggling just like everybody else. We woke up early to be able to get there or we left late. Like that is not the easiest drive. So let's use that in me being the passenger. All right. So now a lot of people are starting to come up to me asking me for mentorship, for help, for whatever the case may be. I actually become the, the passenger um, in some cases because they still want to drive. So what happens to them now is they start driving and I'm literally the passenger. I'm not learning much of anything except for you are clueless and have no clue where you're going to. Um, you're literally just driving in circles and I'm sitting as your passenger. Can you please tell me what benefit that is to ask me? I've been doing this for you know three and a half years. You enjoy watching whatever I'm doing or maybe you're you're trying to get to a point where I'm at, I guess. And now you start driving instead of sitting in the passenger seat. I'm going to sit here in this passenger seat and just kick back. You choose you want to drive. That's fine. Continue to go to the wrong destination instead of listening to what I'm saying and following the steps that I'm sitting here giving you. And then we'll reach the destination a whole lot sooner. But there's a lot of people out there that want to drive so bad you have to control everything. It's not going to get you nowhere, man. So let me give you another situation with the passenger actually bringing uh, very, very beneficial. Okay. Very beneficial in this situation. All right. So in this situation, let's use, again, my wife as an example here. So she's been the passenger. I've been the driver doing this real estate deal. So a lot of times I bounce a lot of ideas off of her, meaning like a direction. So we're trying to go into a certain direction or I'm trying to go into a certain direction because I'm driving. Right. And I bounce the idea off of her. Hey, I'm trying to go to this, this certain direction. How do you think uh, I should get there? Or do you have an idea of how I should get there? Guess what? She comes in with, oh, yeah, glad that I've been awake and I've been watching you this whole time. This is a direction you should take, right? Or she wakes up and says, or not, not even wakes up, but she was already awake and says, hey, you're about to miss your left turn. You need to make this left turn. Or the freeway, I already looked it up. The freeway is actually packed. Don't take that direction. Go this way. That can be applied to business uh, just as much. Sorry for the shake, man. 
but that can be applied to business just the same, right? So in business, how it would work is my wife would say, man, I'm literally sitting here watching you post the same stuff over and over and over or do the same videos over and over and over or take this direction. You'll get there a lot quicker and I saw somebody else do it, a friend of mine, maybe I did it, she did it, whoever, do this instead. So if I literally take heed and listen to what she's saying, guess what? I get to that destination a hundred times quicker, man. Not even kidding. Not always do you have to be the dang driver. You can be the passenger, you can be the driver. Um, A and B drivers in the military are both important when it comes to driving a vehicle. The B driver is the passenger. The A driver is the, the one that's actually driving the vehicle. But both people are, are detrimental to the mission. Without one, you can't do the other. Um, you can drive, but now you're driving aimlessly because you can only focus on so much. The B driver is literally focused on everything around you. The A driver, which is the one driving, is only focused on what's right ahead of you and not looking behind you, beside you, not as much. You know, we can't have a 360 view. The B driver can have that 360 view and a lot more. So that's a beneficial thing to have an A and B driver, to have a passenger that's awake, not asleep. You'll miss out on so much in life if you're the passenger that is asleep. You'll miss out on so much in life if your passenger is literally sitting beside you and sleep. This really, really hit home when I was talking to a good friend of mine. Uh, we were talking about just having real conversations uh, with friends, family, whatever, and we wanted to do some videos. I said, man, this conversation is is great, and I, and I brought it up, you know, about the passenger being asleep, but it's a great conversation because if you're in a relationship and one of the individuals in a relationship is asleep, your spouse needs to wake up, and you guys need to do this together. If you're in a, a business your business partner needs to wake up and you need to do this together. Or you need to get a, a business partner or a spouse or whatever you need, uh, uh, some kind of partner to, to get you to whatever destination you, you want to be at. A mentor is, is a partner. It doesn't matter. It, you need the help. You need somebody to be awake to, to witness and direct you in the right path uh, in life. Or you need to be that person. But hopefully this video uh, helped out. Um, in your business, in your relationship, and whatever. Man, I, I really love being able to share this stuff. And I actually love being able to come up with these kind of ideas, man. It makes me really just dig into myself and figure out something that I've been using that now I can share with you guys, and it'll actually help you out. But uh, anyway, man, let me get up off this dang thing before I have an accident, man. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, Share this video, please, 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 please share this video. It helps out so much with the algorithm when you guys share it, when you hit the like button, um, when you put a comment down in the bottom, and I really appreciate interacting with you guys. But as always, I love you, and thank you guys, and have a great Wednesday, man.